I'll usually get to talk to detectives next after the police officers, and I'm usually interrogated. This episode of Boing Boing TV is brought to you by Verizon. In this garbage can, I found a camera collection. There's probably heirlooms in it, many of which worked, including a Bolex 8mm. So it's very liberating to get your stuff for free. How many times have you been arrested? 15 to 20 times. There's many things they're going to arrest you for. If you have a screwdriver and gloves and a toque, it can be construed as a disguise and or break and enter tools. I used to keep, I can tell you I've been stopped over 300 times in 15 years. <laughs> Hi there, it's Corey. So, you know I've been posting these little instructables, these how-tos for building stuff that comes out of this book, uh, Little Brothers, my new novel about hacker kids in San Francisco who use technology to bring democracy back to America after the Department of Homeland Security goes crazy uh, after a terrorist attack on San Francisco. Anyways, Instructables, they, they just like offered to do this. They really liked the book and they said, we're going to make these little how-tos describing how to build the technology in the book. And it's all technology that just kind of helps you get more freedom. It, it helps you uh, post photos anonymously, run your own flash mob, do a bunch of different stuff, screen your own t-shirts, things that you would otherwise have to pay someone to do or that might get you in trouble if you were surveilled doing it. This is where you come in. If you've been reading these how-tos on Boing Boing or subscribe to the feed, what you can do is, is you can build those and vlog it. And we'll take the best of them, we'll put it here on Boing Boing and on the Little Brother site. And we'll build a kind of little community video store of people showing each other how to build technology projects that give each other more liberty. Uh, and I think that'll really be in the spirit of the book, and I hope you'll take the challenge and uh, go with it. Thanks a lot. I'm Michael Bay, and I demand things to be awesome. Awesome pussycat. Awesome barbecue. Awesome pole. That's why I'm getting Verizon Files. With the awesomest upload and download speeds. Yes, sir. Blows cable away. This is BIOS. This is big. As far as I can see, if they threw it out, they don't want it. This garbage funds my life so I can live freely as the artist. I might have lived freely and been in another sense if I got any money from my art. Well, this particular aspect of getting stuff for free, it's more like an adventure, it's never boring. This is one way an artist can survive. However, I've still went through all the trials and tribulations any other person would. I just let myself get arrested, which usually happens. <laughs> That's it. Usually they take you so that they can check in the morning to see if you actually were going through the garbage, if they actually did throw it out. They may even think that you're an employee and you're stealing, which isn't the case. So to verify this, they've got to hold you until someone from the company comes. Someone's out here, they're not a police officer, a dumpster diver, or a worker. Don't talk to them. The thing you have to really be careful about is acquiring too much stuff of no value. I'll usually get to talk to detectives next after the police officers, and I'm usually interrogated. So I'd rather deal with them out here than guys like that walking, and I don't even know why they're here. God knows what they're doing, right? That's weird. The big crime about this is that Corporate garbage isn't audited. Corporations now faced with cheaper products made overseas are more likely to throw them out because it's not worth sending them back or fixing them. Therefore, they're throwing more out, compensating for all the recycling the public does. They will continue to throw out paint, tires, styrofoam, everything that you and I can't throw out. It's liberating because I can always start again. My God, if I didn't have this avenue, I would have been, uh, I, I would have been, you know, uh, out of business for years. So I'm a happy guy, I'm not contemplating suicide, and I have a very healthy career as a drummer, and I can't be stopped.